Have you ever wondered why locals in Vienna will look at you strangely when you eat your Sachertorte without whipped cream? Or why Austrians get furious when you call them the Germans from the mountains? Then listen up, because in this video series I would like to present blunders of different countries to save you from unpleasant situations. Because when visiting Austria, the Alpine nation known for its composers in classical music, the epochal buildings and the Alps covered in snow, there are a few faux pas you need to consider. First of all we have the fact that you must not enjoy your Wiener Schnitzel with sauce. So never ever eat Wiener Schnitzel with sauce. What is the fastest way to leave Austria? It's neither the train nor the plane, but eating a Wiener Schnitzel with sauce. You'll be surprised how fast you can find an Austrian who will voluntarily escort you out of the country at this site. A Wiener Schnitzel is always served without sauce, but instead with lemon. Also, the famous Sachertorte is traditionally served with whipped cream. Because the interplay between the cool whipped cream on the one hand and the chocolate dough on the other is just too beautiful to miss. In Austria, titles are very important. And these are also actively used. Consequently, you'll find them in email signatures, business cards or on mailboxes. So you should pay attention to the correct use of titles, because if someone has an academic degree or title, you are expected to use it. A friendly Grüß Gott is common in Austria, especially in the countryside and in smaller villages and towns. Hallo or even a Hi is considered too casual in more formal situations or with older people. Never dare to refer to Austria as renegade Germany or Bavaria's backyard. Among my videos on Austria I have read countless combinations of such terms. And of course they have no place in the Alpine Republic of Austria. Austria is not small Germany and there are, if you look closer, a lot of cultural differences. The different dialects of Austria should never be trivialized. High German is understood throughout all of Austria, but the provinces have their own dialects and their own expressions, which should not be made fun of, even if they sound cute and are surprisingly creative. It doesn't hurt to familiarize yourself with some local terms. An important etiquette rule in Austria is punctuality. When you have an appointment, be sure to keep to the agreed time. And if you are going to be late, let the other participants know beforehand if you don't want to catch a bad omen. Sunday is generally considered a day of rest in Austria. Most stores are closed on Sundays and it's better if you leave your buzzing lawnmower in the garden shed on that day. After all, it also deserves a day off. The last blunder is to reduce Austria to its capital Vienna. Sure, it's the vibrant capital and economic and cultural center of the country, but you'd be surprised how big the cultural differences can be between downtown Vienna and the Tyrolean mountain village. Austria is not only Vienna, but a big diverse country just waiting to welcome you as a tourist. That's the end of this video and I'd be interested to know which blunders I have forgotten. 